Hey, Elgin here, EXP Realty, Elgin and Pilar Walker team, and another just quick discussion here as we're heading toward the end of the year for my real estate agents. Listen, you know, there's a strong possibility that uh, to the 2024 will be as difficult or challenging, I should say, or quote unquote worse. And what do I mean by worse? I'm not talking about a foreclosure or market crash. What I'm just really just talking about is the activity, how many actual sales there will be. And the sales right now appear that they will still be down. Down meaning there just won't be as many transactions as there have been over the previous few years. Uh, that's really what we've experienced this year. In the areas that we work, not really experienced you know, foreclosures or experienced uh, property values declining sharply in that. But we have seen is that the inventory is extremely low and the interest rates are much higher than they were previously. So we have seen a stagnation in the marketplace right now that kind of just, you know, uh, um, going like this, right? Just kind of going like this. So what does that mean? That just means that there are sales, but there aren't as many. So there aren't as many sales and the activity is slower, that means you as a real estate professional and a business owner needs to make the proper adjustments for your business and for you to be able to help as many families as you can. I think one of the adjustments that you have to make is understanding where your personal place is in your business. And what I mean by that, if you're a solo agent or you're a team lead or a big team lead or whatever that situation may be, what is your number one income producing asset? So for a lot of us, the number one income producing asset that you have is you. You. You are the one that's getting out there doing the lead gen, doing the follow up, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the biggest things that I suggest is A, make sure that as you reinvest into your business, you're reinvesting into your biggest asset which is you. You can control you. You can control your effort. You can control your efficiency. You can control what you do as a business owner, as a real estate agent. You can't control interest rates. You can't control how many homes are on the market or not on the market. You can't control any of those things, but you can control you. So make sure that you're making the investment in yourself and that you make sure that you are giving yourself a proper rate of return on the investment that you are putting into you. All right. Stay with us. Subscribe to the channel. Keep listening. We're going to be dropping other. Hopefully you'll find valuable mindset and proper efficiency stuff you can do and value to move you forward and make you be as great as you can be. Have a blessed day. And remember, no matter what you're going through in life, it's just a temporary condition because things do change. And it truly is a great life. God bless.